Oh my gosh, hello guys! So today I wanted to do a very special video for you guys. I am actually going to be participating in the manga readathon that Manga Hoarder and Shelf Space Fleeting are collaborating with. They organized this readathon for manga readers, and I am really, really excited to do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It starts on Saturday the 15th, and I'm really excited. And in that video, they discuss all the challenges that are in this readathon that you can take place and possibly even win some manga if you would like to participate. So check those videos out. I'll link them down below. And I'll also link down below the manga readathon Twitter page as well with some updates that'll update you on this challenge and everything. So anyway, let's get into the TBR for this readathon that I'm going to be doing. I'm really, really excited. I have a lot of manga here. I may not get through all these manga, but I really want to try to get through as much of them as I can because I just think it'd be a lot of fun. And some of these do fit the challenge criteria, so I will talk about them when I get to that point. So let's just get into this and show you the manga that I'm going to read for the readathon. So the first manga that I have that I want to read is Yona of the Dawn, Volume 3, and this is by Mizuho Kusanagi, and this is a series that I just got into last month. I really, really, really like this series, and I'm excited to see where this volume goes. This will also fit one of the challenges. One of the challenges is to read a manga from a different country, and this one takes place in Korea, which I didn't know until I saw their video, so that's pretty cool. So this will fit that criteria as well. Uh, I have another volume that will actually fit that challenge as well, and that is Let Die Volume 5 by Seyun Won. Yes, Seyun Won. Su Yen Won. I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry, but this is the fifth volume of the series, and I really, really like this series, so I'd like to continue it for this readathon. And just a side note, this also fits the challenge of uh, reading a book about LGBTQ characters, so I'm really excited about that. So if I read both of these, that'll fit both of those challenges. I have a couple of other LGBT volumes that I could read. One of them is Whis Warning Whispers of Love by Puku Odam Okuyama. And this is a very, very cute BL story that I really want to get through. I already started reading it uh, a while ago, but I might reread what I read. It's really cute so far. And this would also follow the challenge of reading a book that is all one complete story, so it's a one-shot. So that would be very, very nice if I could fit one of those challenges in. Or I might read Volume 6 of his favorite, and this one is by... Suzuki Tanaka, and I really, really love this series, and I want to read more of it. It's one of my favorite BL titles. Very, very highly recommend this one. It's just, it's so adorable and cute. So, highly recommend this. Another challenge in the readathon is to read a book of short stories, and I don't really have that many of them. I have a couple of Yaoi short stories, but the one that I found that I want to read is Yuri Short Story Collection, and it's called Kisses, Size, and Cherry Blossoms Pink by Milk Morinaga. This is a bit of a chunky book, but I am excited to read it. It has a lot of dialogue, too, so this might take a while to read. But I really, really like her work. I like her art style, and it's just... She's a very, very cute mangaka. I really like her cute stories, so I'm excited to read this one get through it. I, I just can't wait to read it. It looks so cute. One of the series that I'm really into right now that I'll probably read some volumes in the readathon is volume, well not really volume, but the series is He's My Only Vampire, and this is by Ayasho Oto. I really love this creator. I just finished reading all of the volumes of Demon Prince of Omochi House that I own, and I just need more of her stuff. I just need it in my life, because I'm just obsessed with her. So I will read a volume or two probably of this series, if I can. I really, really want to because I'm starting to get back into it and I really like it so far. Oh my god, sexy bishi boys. Oh my god, there's a new boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, can you see why I love this artist? Can you freaking understand my obsession? See, so yeah, I'll definitely be reading some of these in the future because hot damn bishi boys. Another manga challenge is to read a uh, volume one of a series with green on the cover, and I didn't really have a lot of these on my shelf that I was looking at, but the one that I found is uh, Of the Red, the Light, and the Ayakashi, and this is by Haka Works and Nanao. And I really, really wanted to read this series. I bought it when it first came out. I think I got it from a Yen Press sale about a year and a half ago or so. And I really want to read it. I've been meaning to read it for a long time. The art looks very intriguing. 
it kind of reminds me of Natsume Book of Friends in a way, so I haven't read that, but I've heard really great things about it. And again, I love this art style. I love the colored pages. It's just, it's very, very pretty. So I'm hoping that the story is good, along with the artwork. The artwork looks fantastic, so I'm very excited to read this one. One of the other challenges is to read a manga with a female main character, and for that challenge I chose Happy Marriage by Maki and Joji. This is another manga that I have had on my shelf for a long time. I saw that Melissa and my friend Kyle Chan really liked this series, or at least liked the first volume, and I really wanted to read it, and I bought it, and I just have not read it yet, but it looks really good. It looks very funny, so I'm very looking forward to reading this one. Yet another challenge for the readathon is to read your oldest volume of manga, and this can be both from the year it was created in Japan or the time that you bought it. And the oldest manga that I own in my collection is Volume 1 of Kakaishi by Yellow Tanabe. This was gifted to me by a friend from high school, one of my good friends, and I got it in about 2009, I believe, when I first started getting into manga. Actually, it could have been even 2008 before I started YouTube. And I love this series. It's so fun. I haven't been able to finish it, though. I almost have all of the volumes now, but I've only been able to read up to volume, like, 13 or 14. And I want to reread the series because I forget what happened. I tried to read volume 14 and I just don't know where the story is going because it's been so long since I read this series. But I want to read it. It's one of my... It was the first thing that got me into manga. It got me into my obsession of anime and otakuism. So you can thank this for all of these videos, basically. This is the manga that made me an otaku. So thank it. Thank it, people. The next one is just a manga on my TBR that I really, really want to read. I've been meaning to read for so long, and I just want to read it. And that's Volume 4 of Honey is So Sweet by Amu Maguro. This is just a really cute manga, and I just really, really want to read it. So it's in the TBR. Another challenge is to read a comedy manga, and obviously I had to put this in the list because this is one of my favorites. I am on Volume 18 of Rene, and I need to read it so bad because I love this series. It's by Rumiko Takahashi, one of my favorite mangakas of all time. And I adore this series. It's just so fun. It's very episodic, so I can pick this up at any volume and just enjoy it. So I highly recommend Rene if you haven't picked it up yet, but this is definitely the volume I'm going to read for the comedy manga. Another volume that I just really want to read is a volume that I'm going to read with my friend Melissa. We are going to read volume 9 of High School Debut, and this one is by Kazune Kawahara. I forgot her name for a second because it's been a while since I read this series. But we're going to read this again together, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm excited to read this with Melissa, and yeah, it'll be fun. The next challenge I want to complete is to read three volumes of a series in a row, and that series I'm going to pick is Let's Dance a Waltz, and this is by uh, Natsumi Ando. I have had this cute shoujo romance on my shelf for months, and I just haven't read it yet, so I'm definitely going to try to read all three of these for the readathon. If I can, hopefully I will get through them all. I really, really want to read it. It looks super cute. Okay, and the last manga in my TBR for this week readathon, and the last manga that completes a challenge, is Solonen by Inio Asano. This completes the uh, read a one shot volume challenge as well as that one Yaoi sh title I showed you. But I've been meaning to read this for so freaking long. I've had it on my shelf for a couple months now, and it just looks like a really, really intense read and a very, very eye-opening read as well. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. I will try to get through it at least throughout the week. I might read a little bit every day, and then I can probably get through this big chunker of a book. But yes, I want to read Solonen. It's been on my TBR for so long. I want to get it off of the TBR. So there you have it. These are all of the books that I want to read for the manga readathon this coming week. I'm really excited to read all of them. If I can, hopefully I can get through all of these. There's a lot to read here, so I'm very, very excited. And if you would like to participate in this readathon, as always, I will leave the links to the videos below where you can check it out and check out their Twitter and everything. I'm really, really excited to do this. So thank you, Jen and Laura from Manga Hoarder and Shelf Space Fleeting. Thank you so much. I'm really, really excited to read this with you guys. Let's do our very best to read as many manga as we can this coming week. 
And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And please, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy!